The story begins with an old fisherman named Matty relaxing alone on his boat on an isolated part of Lake Victoria in Arizona. Whilst fishing, he reaches for a beer. And as a fish bites on his bait, the boat rocks and the beer bottle falls into the water, drifting down to the bottom of the lake. When the bottle crashes into the depth, it causes tremors and an earthquake. This opens up a rift at the bottom and causes a whirlpool. From this, a school of hungry piranha emerge and float to the surface aggressively. Matty tries, but is unable to start his boat and falls into the lake. He gets violently gnawed and torn apart by the piranha fish. Across the lake, in town, it's spring break. The streets are filled with teens and adults looking to party. Our protagonist, Jake Forrester, makes his way there on a scooter to pick up his younger siblings, Laura and Zane. He watches on as his mother, the town sheriff, Julie, takes down a miscreant. Here, he unexpectedly bumps into an old flame, Kelly. Jake and Kelly are engaged in conversation when her boyfriend, Todd, and his friend arrive. They rush Kelly to hurry up and come along. Todd's friend mocks Jake's t-shirt and splashes his drink all over him before driving away. Humiliated, Jake walks over to collect the youngsters. Jake's sister, Laura, is bonding with Danny. Danny compliments Jake on his Pixies t-shirt. He assumes Danny is being sarcastic, but her adoration was actually genuine. Upon learning that Danny is a wild, wild girl, Jake starts bonding with Danny. A wannabe filmmaker, Derek Jones, arrives. Upon learning that Jake is a local, Derek convinces him to join his crew as a guide for the shoot tomorrow. Later that night, Jake's mother, the Sheriff Julie, asks Jake to promise him to stay at home and look after his siblings. She then goes with her deputy Fallon to search for Matty. As they haul in his boat, they discover his heavily mutilated body. They begin to reconsider keeping the lake open for spring break the next day, with thousands of visitors already in town and the economy boost this holiday would bring to the town. The next day, Jake bribes his younger siblings to stay at home so he can join Derek and Danny on their boat for the wild, wild girls shoot. The deal is made and Jake insists that they do not use the phone, do not answer the door and do not leave the house. Back in town, there are hundreds of young people drinking, dancing and ready to party. At the centre of this attraction are Danny and her co-star Crystal. They are dancing in a seductive manner, much to the delight of the crowd and Jake. As Derek motions Jake to join them on the boat, Jake bumps into Kelly. Derek finds her attractive and invites her to join them, with the promise of a good time and champagne. While Derek and his cameraman Andy are busy filming Danny and Crystal cavorting around naked in the water, Jake lies to his mother about his siblings being home. Meanwhile, Jake's siblings ignored the deal made with him and set off into the lake together in a red canoe. As they are walking around the island, the canoe drifts away and they are unable to get a hold of it. As they try their best to motion to boats passing by to rescue them, Laura slices her foot on a broken beer bottle on the seabed. As the cut causes her foot to bleed, the piranhas come extremely close to Laura, smelling blood. On the other side of town, a team of geology experts get ready to investigate the earthquake and seismic disturbances. They are escorted to the site of the earthquake by the sheriff's convoy. Two divers, Paula and Sam, descend into the depths of the lake, unaware of the lurking danger of piranhas. As Sam swims deep and goes through a narrow opening into the prehistoric lake, he quickly identifies the eggs to be those of piranhas. But he is quickly attacked and overpowered by a flock of hungry, aggressive piranhas. Attempting to rescue Sam, Paula too is attacked by the piranhas, but is pulled to the surface and onto the boat by a third member of the team, Novak. It ends up being in vain as Paula succumbs to the piranha assault. Not far away, Kelly and Jake seem to be having a great time in the company of Derek and his crew. As the crew prepares to drink tequila shots, Derek persuades Kelly to take a tequila shot with Crystal, resulting in a kiss between the two. Jake, reluctantly, agrees to take a shot on Kelly's body. But just as he is about to bite the slice of lemon from Kelly's mouth, Kelly pushes him away and vomits. Clearly drunk, she is asked to rest up. 
Back on land, the remaining geology team member Novak and the Sheriff Julie take a piranha they captured to Carl Goodman, a retired marine biologist. Carl pours the fish into a tank and to his shock and horror, he immediately recognises it. He explains to the others that this species of piranha has been extinct for millions of years. While Julie and Novak wonder how they survived for so long without food, Carl explains that this is because of their cannibalistic nature, pointing to the scratches and scars on the fish in his tank. On the other side of the lake, a heavily drunk Derek is irritated to see Jake stop filming when Jake spots Laura and Zane on a nearby island waving for help. Derek is irate and refuses to help them, but when Jake tells him that his mother is the sheriff, he soon changes his mind. With Andy at the helm, they rescue the kids. Aware of the grave danger those out on the lake are in, Julie leads her group back to the docks to try and disperse them. Deputy Fallon shoots his gun into the air to silence the crowd and loudly, clearly instructs them to leave. But the party goers ignore him and continue partying. Further ignoring his warning, hundreds of college kids jump into the water. It doesn't take long for the piranhas to reach the surface and one by one, hundreds are maimed, mutilated and killed by the piranhas. A stampede ensues, causing boats to tip over and resulting in several gnarly and gory accidents, a lot more deaths and serious injuries. As hundreds of stunned and injured partygoers try to make it to safety, Deputy Fallon begins shooting the fish. Novak follows suit with a shotgun and Julie Bings using tasers on the fish. Amongst the partygoers is Todd, who is on a speedboat. But refusing to help anyone in the lake, a lot of the injured people try to get on his speedboat, causing it to tip over, killing them all in the process. On the other side, the propeller of Derek's boat gets wedged in weeds on the seabed. As they attempt to get out of that hold, rocks below the water smash the boat's windows. The impact causes Andy, Derek and Crystal to fall into the water, where they are immediately chomped upon by the piranhas. Derek somehow makes it back out and is helped up by Danny but is shocked to see the lower half of his body eaten away. On the boat, with the water gushing in, the boat begins to sink and Kelly cannot make it out. Jake advises her to take shelter on the countertop below deck. Over at the spring break site, Deputy Fallon runs out of ammo and picks up the spinning boat motor instead to annihilate the piranhas. He does this valiantly until he is also chowed down by the piranhas. Meanwhile, Jake finally calls his mother Julie and informs her of their predicament. Julie and Novak locate them and arrive on a smaller boat to rescue Jake, the kids, Kelly and Danny. Julie manages to slackline onto Derek's boat on a rope to help her children. Jake refuses to leave Kelly, saying that he's responsible for Kelly being in this situation. Danny goes first on the rope towards the smaller boat. With their mother at the back, they kids make their way towards Novak's boat. As they are crossing over, Danny's long hair is dangling above the water surface. The piranhas latch onto her hair and drag her down to her death. The others make it across safely, except Jake and Kelly. On the bigger boat, Jake realises he can use Derek's mutilated corpse to distract the piranhas. To his shock, Derek still has a last gasp of life in him. As he utters his last words, Jake tosses his body into the lake. He uses this distraction to get underwater and join Kelly at base of the boat, holding onto the rope. Once inside, he turns on a few gas canisters and Kelly ties two flares together. As they emerge from the boat, Novak tries to tow them to safety, but he is unable to start his engine. As a school of piranhas draws closer to Jake and Kelly underwater, Jake wraps his arms around Kelly to protect her. After several attempts, the engine springs back into life in the nick of time and the smaller boat sets off with Jake and Kelly in tow. Underneath the bigger boat, the flares cause the propane gas to release, setting ablaze, causing a huge explosion that kills thousands of piranhas. As Novak steers the smaller boat far away from the fish, Jake and Kelly are reeled in and climb on board. They make it out relatively unscathed, aside from minor injuries. As Novak celebrates and Julie heaves a sigh of relief, she receives a phone call from Carl Goodman. Carl states that the fish in his tank is yet to develop reproductive organs and the fish in the lake are just babies. 
As Novak learns about this and wonders where the parents are, he gets snatched in one fell swoop by a giant humongous piranha. And so, we come to the end of this recap of Piranha. Make sure to like and subscribe to watch more videos like this as we will be posting thrilling recaps of entertaining movies.